What is up, YouTube? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the Lifting Nomad. Today, I am in Medellin, Colombia, getting ready to actually head back to Toronto. The end of my Latin America adventure is over, but that doesn't mean my fitness goals are. So it is almost summertime. Uh, I guess here it's almost summertime. It doesn't get summer in Canada until like July. So I'm two and a half months out from the beach and I am honestly at the end of my bulk. I'm the heaviest I've been in a long time. I'm over 170 pounds and I need to get shredded again for summer. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing to get back in shape for summer. So without further ado, let's get into the video. We are back and I want to talk about the three things that I am going to be doing over the next few months to get back into shape. A little bit of context, ever since COVID I've been staying in shape while traveling the world. Been to some really, really cool places from Portugal to Colombia to Uruguay to Peru to Mexico. Done some really cool stuff. Lived in Argentina this spring, this winter I should say, and now I'm headed back home for the next six months or so before I uh, plan to travel back down to South America once again. And with that being said, I know I'm going into the end of well, I've already started to do my cut. So a little bit of context, typically when I'm beach shredded, I'm anywhere from like 155 to 160 pounds. When I'm like really, really dialed in and really shredded, it's like 155. This off season, I wanted to get my body out of the deficit as I've been dieting for so long. And I wanted to give myself a little bit of a mental break, honestly, after dieting for so many, like months and almost like three years straight of being in a deficit. I think my metabolism was pretty shot. I was only able to eat like 1600 calories or so a day. And it was ultimately starting to mess with my mental a little bit. I was having some um, like just difficulty staying positive, difficulty having high energy, difficulty like accomplishing anything in the gym. I was just really at the end of what I could do by staying that weight. So this off season, I wanted to gain a little bit of size and put on some muscle while being smart about it. So. I was just over 100 and let's say like 161, 162 pounds in December. And now as of like mid April, I'm sitting like just over 170. So I gained about eight pounds in about three months, which was pretty much what I wanted to do a pound a week or so during this bulk, let's say. And I'm definitely fluffier than I've been in a long time. My abs are pretty much non-existent right now. Um, I do still have like a little bit of vascularity when I get a pump, but otherwise I don't really look that shredded. And that's honestly kind of the life of being a natty. You see a lot of people on Instagram and like on YouTube who just look absolutely shredded out of the tits year round and 99% of the time they're gonna be on steroids. Nothing against it, drugs are you know something you can do to improve your performance, something you can do recreationally, those are all your choices, but the reality is the image you see on YouTube and on Instagram isn't real life what a lot of people look like if you're not on gear. And even if you are, they don't usually look like that all the time. That's oiled up with a pump and like post gym, you know, fresh into a new cycle kind of thing where your like doses are at their highest. Like it's, it's, you know, not real life and not what people should try and look like. So for me, I always try and stay relatively in shape. That's why I've gained very minimal weight during this bulk. I didn't go crazy and gain like 20 pounds, eat whatever I want. So with that being said, here's the three things I'm doing over the next, let's say two months to get proper shredded again. Um, and the benefit of not getting too heavy during my off season is that really I only have to lose like five to 10 pounds. If I lose five pounds, my abs are gonna be back for sure. If I lose 10 pounds, I'm gonna be like well, well shredded again. So I'm going on vacation at the end of May. So really I'm trying to dial in as much as I can and get my body back to what I like and what I enjoy while trying to maintain as much muscle as possible. So what are the three things I'm doing? First of all, I'm increasing my cardio. Second of all, I'm putting a really big priority focus on my nutrition. And third of all, I'm stopping how much I'm drinking alcohol and going out. So let's talk about the first one. So cardio. Cardio is a really, really helpful tool. And if you look at anyone who does like a proper bodybuilding prep um, or a show, or really wants to get in shape, even just like beach lean for the summer, cardio is a really, really useful tool to use to accomplish that. Cardio does a couple of things. It lets you eat more calories, uh, but also just burns amount of, like burns a much higher amount of calories than you could just diet from. And what I mean by that is if I eat, let's say 2000 calories a day, but I do 45 minutes of cardio every single day, that's gonna get my like overall consumption down to like 1500, allowing me to be easier in a deficit. And it's really not that hard to do 45 minutes of like incline treadmill, something low intensity, steady state. I usually listen to like some sales calls or like watch some YouTube videos, or even like if I'm not really feeling it, I'll just watch like some, some TV shows. Right now it's like Ted Lasso, Mandalorian, and some really good stuff on. So it's easy to put on a show for 45 minutes and just kind of zone out. But that cardio I think overall helps me stay in my deficit as I'm still traveling and sometimes my nutrition isn't perfect. So that kind of leads me into the second point, which is my nutrition that I'm starting to dial in more and more. And for me, it's 
States, you know, when I get back to Canada, I'm gonna be getting the food scale back out and eating like perfectly. The reality is while I'm still traveling, it is pretty difficult. So what I'm doing is cooking every single breakfast and lunch at home. And when I'm eating out dinner, I'm trying to be as health conscious as possible. So trying to eat like chicken, salads, those kind of things, high in protein, lower in calories than like steak or you know, fried food, whatever that may be. And that lets me stay a little bit more dialed in on my nutrition. So for me, those two meals every single day, I try and keep as low calories and as high protein as possible. So my nutrition is pretty straightforward. Every single day, my breakfast is oats, protein, and fruit. I usually do like blueberries or raspberries. They just seem to really be easy for my digestion and easy to get, relatively cheap, low in calories, and nutritious for you. Then my second meal of the day pretty much is pretty similar. I always try and eat like some kind of chicken, um, chicken salad, chicken sandwich, chicken, like even like chicken nuggets or something like that. If you're looking at the calories and you're actually looking at the portion of it, sometimes they're not too bad, um, even if they are like chicken nuggets, and sometimes that richness can just kind of hit that um, appetite when you're not really feeling like eating just chicken breast. But thankfully down here, I mean, Colombia, a lot of the food is still relatively cheap, so I can get a lot of chicken from the grocery store for relatively inexpensive amounts, and that lets me keep my protein high as possible. The really, really important thing when you're dieting and you wanna get like that actual muscular, vascular look, is you need to have really, really high protein and then be in a deficit. So when you're losing weight, you're maintaining as much muscle as possible so that you don't become like a skinny fat little person when you get down to like the size you want. You wanna maintain as much of that muscle you put off in your off season. So for me right now, I'm really trying to train as hard as I possibly can, lift as heavy a weights as I possibly can, do a ton of cardio and also keep my protein high and stay in a deficit. That's really gonna let me keep my shape and keep my figure as I start to dial down and hopefully get back down into the 150s by the time we get uh, to summer time. Then the third thing that I'm doing and unfortunately the reality of this, as you know, my channel is all about balance and living a, you know, living a uh, happy lifestyle that lets you go out, lets you go to dinner with friends, lets you drink alcohol. But the reality is you can't do that every single night if you do want to get shredded. It takes a lot of focus and a lot of energy uh, to prioritize your training and it takes a lot of dedication. But the reality is if you're going out even like two, three times a week to drink alcohol, it's going to have a really negative effect on your progress in the gym and also how many calories you're consuming. I have a notorious time when I'm hungover of trying to stay on plan, trying to do cardio when I'm hungover. It just is really, really difficult for me. So honestly, for me, it's easy just to go cold turkey. Don't go out, don't drink alcohol. Maybe once a week, but ideally like once every other week over this next phase while I start to get shredded for summer. Then when I'm down to like a healthy weight that I like, maybe 155 to 160, depending on this year, that's when I'll maybe start going out a little bit more and try and maintain that physique instead of trying to continuously cut past that but the reality is alcohol is a ton of calories alcohol affects your decision making your nutrition how well you can train the next day so it is something you have to sacrifice i would love to go out and just party every single night and stay shredded but it is difficult when you see those people on the beach who are completely dialed in completely shredded they don't go out that much. It's just the way it works. And unfortunately, that's just the reality of being in shape. So if you wanna prioritize that, if you wanna focus on that, you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices that you otherwise may not want to. But that's gonna be it. It's gonna be a nice little short video, just what I wanna talk about, how I'm getting in shape for summer, what I'm doing, what I'm preparing for. So that's gonna be the video. If this was useful, feel free to like, leave a comment in the section below. It always helps the algorithm. But as always, my name is Alex. Welcome back to Lifting Nomad. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.